This is a brief video on spasmodic dysphonia and in particular a somatic education exercise to gain control of the spasticity in the throat which affects the larynx, the vocal cords. It's a very simple procedure. What we're doing is combining swallowing with changes of head position. And it goes like this, just to be straight about it, straightforward, kind of give you a side view. <laughs> what you do is a series of swallows with your head in an increasingly tilted back position. The swallowing action activates the muscles that affect the height of the pharynx and of the larynx, which contains the vocal cords. So it goes like this. I'm going to demonstrate it, describe it, and then give you the, the instructions again. So what you just saw me do was a series of swallows in which each swallow is followed by a tilting of the head further back. This tilting elongates the soft tissues at the front of the spinal column at the neck, the cervical spine. Each time you tilt your head back, you induce a further lengthening. Each time you swallow, you gain control of the muscles of contraction in the front of the neck and throat so that when you finish the swallow there's some slack to take up by tipping your head back. So it's a series of actions of swallow, tip back, swallow, tip back, swallow, tip back. You saw me do seven of those. And the tip back occurs right on the tail end of the swallow. It's as simple as that. Now this action pattern when combined with the tongue mudra produces major sensory stimulation of the mouth and throat as well as other areas and induces internal self-corrections to patterns of posture and tension that may have become habituated. Now just so that you'll have some clarity about it and about proper expectations you're likely to have to repeat this action a number of times getting a little more improvement each time. Also you may explore variations to position by turning your head, your face, to one side with each swallow. This activates or engages different areas of the vocal apparatus and induces a slightly different learning process of control of the involved muscles. So that's the gist of it. A somatic education exercise for addressing spasmodic dysphonia.